Oh, yeah. That's the fish. What's going on, guys? Doing another uh, trip back here in the Uinas. Got some trail cameras. Gonna go check real quick. Just leaving the boys at the truck. It's only not even a mile in here. So I wanna go check this camera. And uh, we'll check with you once we get in there. See what we can see on the camera. All right, well, I just got back from uh, checking that first trail camera and not uh, what we were hoping for. Um, there's a big bull moose that's pulled into there, so I'm not sure if he's pushing stuff out. Um, there was one good bull elk, but he was like a month ago. And the bigger bucks that we'd seen in there a year ago, uh, they're not in there. There's a really nice, as far as a two point, there's a nice two point in there. We might try and come in for him later. Uh, but I'm gonna go put up some other cameras where we've had some success and uh, I'll check in with you there. All right, uh, I'm heading into putting in another camera down closer to an area that we've hunted before. And uh, the llama's behind me. This one's probably only a mile and a half. And I'm, uh, I've got about two hours before dark, so. Trying to pull butt in here and get these set. And then I got an idea for one more for tomorrow morning. And we'll do our pack in to different areas. So we'll uh, check in with you later. Morning. Uh, today we are uh, probably went, I bet it's 50 miles east of where we were last night. And uh, it's a different base than going up to where we were two weeks ago. And uh, we're just kind of seeing what's in here. And you can hear uh, Rusty. He's ready for a break. So we're taking a little break with Rusty. This time we're doing good. They didn't get to go out last weekend, so got to keep them on their training. So we'll uh, get back in here and let's see what it looks like. All right, we're about uh, five miles in, I would say. Four or five miles, and uh, we're just hitting into the wilderness area. The boys are doing good. Taking it slow. It's hot, so just taking some time. So how you went to this wilderness marker. Rusty in the back there. He was in the front, but uh, he was having a hard time. So he gets a little more of a breather in the back there. But Nick in the front right now. Sham head just popped up. Louis just popped up. So you get all four of them there. We'll check in with you a little later. All right, now well, we're walking up this uh, riverbank here. And uh, it's midday, like quarter after 12. I got some cow elk out here feeding in this meadow. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. So that's a good sign. Maybe you see them out feeding this time of day. So I think we got about a mile left to get into our kind of where I wanted to go. And uh, I'll check in with him when we get there. All right, guys. Uh, we're about six miles in. I did camp about five miles. This is what we ended up being five and a quarter. And uh, left the llamas back there. And uh, now I'm hitting this little river here behind me. Creek, river. Not sure what they call it. But uh, I'll show you what my view is going up the creek here. That's what I'm heading up into. I'm just using a grasshopper. And uh, I've caught half a dozen so far two that have been bigger than what I had caught before so I was just using a really small fly and it seems like this uh, bigger grasshopper is getting some bigger fish so we'll stick with it and see how it goes. All right just taking a break I got that last uh, grasshopper fly stuck on a limb that was in the bottom so I've got one more of those he's just a little bit bigger so uh, the bigger fly for the bigger fish hasn't continued that was just those first couple and um, so this one I think is a little bit bigger so maybe we'll see what turns up found a sweet camping ground 
always amazes me. It always amazes me how much time people spend on these campgrounds in these back in the back country. I'm glad they do it. But uh, finding all this was here in mind. I'd have tried to get another mile out of Nick, but he was pretty tired. So it's good we stopped where we did. But uh, next trip, I think we'll try and get into here. It's a pretty cool spot. I'll try and get a video of the fish. It's just uh, really tough in these little, in the creek. It's not like you're just staying in one spot. You're always moving, so. I gotta invest in probably a GoPro or something similar to that so I can have a chest mount so we can catch some of these. So we'll do that for the future. Yeah, that was cool. That was my first grayling. It's cool to see a different fish. I didn't know what it was right at first. I thought it was maybe a brown or something. Then I seen that fin on him. Way cool. So I'm gonna mark this spot. Maybe uh, Hunter can get up in here and try and get him some. There's some good fish right in this little hole. We'll uh, keep going at it and see what we can get. Oh, yeah, that's the fish. Heck yeah. That's the best one. Alright, so what I did is I switched from a top fly to a bottom fly with this little floater on it. And this is the boy that I'm watching trying to get. Look at him. Man, he's pretty. Nice fish. Get him back. So I put this on there. We got a little cork floater. So it keeps it from snagging on the bottom. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna figure I'm gonna try some different things out. Uh, missed one there. Oh man! <laughs> oh, he got off. Oh, he's another sweet one. Shoot. This landed another grayling. Very cool. Very thin. Got him on that big, uh, big bugger. Put him on. All right. Grayling number three. Get him back. All right, guys. We are coming to the end of day two. I've got about, caught about 20 fish in there, in that creek bed, around the creek, and uh, had a lot of fun. Yeah, my uh, evening view. How could it get any better than that? Well, I'm just gonna get about 45 minutes till dark. I'm gonna start working my way back. And, uh, maybe do some fishing right below where I'm camped or right around that area. Probably got uh, 20 minutes to get back to camp. So, unless something amazing happens between now and dark. 
I'll see you in the morning. Okay, yeah, well, I realized I haven't shown you uh, where we ended up camping. So, uh, let me put this around. Get the tent there. Get the boys. It's actually a really good spot. There's a lot of grass. We had shade this afternoon. So we got the tent. Got the boys down here. We got Rusty standing up. Sham down from him. Nick. We got uh, Lee over here just chomping away. So it's not a bad camp. I'm just gonna walk down here and see if I can finish up the night and do some fishing. See if I can uh, just go below camp here. This tin. Oh, got him. Oh, he's a little. There he go. A mess. There he is. Little tiny bugger. Alright, good morning guys. Today I just decided to hike further up that creek bottom and uh, gonna fish that out to, uh, probably till around 11 12 o'clock and then we're gonna head out. We gotta be back to town tomorrow for. Um, my daughter has some wedding photos, pre-wedding photos, and uh, my wife needs to go with her too, so we'll do some fishing this morning and head out this afternoon. Slept good last night, had uh, cow, elk, and some like a pretty good herd right below me there, below camp. And uh, they were barking like at 4 o'clock in the morning, so that's always fun to hear. So we'll talk to you later. Big one right there. Every time I reel one in, there's one right there on the underneath the bank there. I'm gonna try and get him. Ah. Come around here. Nice. Love that. There he goes. Number two. <laughs> uh, well, you can't really count him as a two. But he's a grayling. Little tiny bugger. 
but we're headed out. We're gonna, uh, taking off about 12 o'clock, and uh, we've already, it's only a half hour, and we've covered about a third of the distance, so it's all downhill. And uh, we're doing it in the heat of the day again, of course. Just the way things work out, so we're uh, taking breaks when we need them. And 